If we want to reduce differences in salary between men and women, we can't leave the task to firms and unions. Proper monitoring, measurements and strong binding constraints are needed. The fact that women's earnings are on average lower than men's remains to this day a very common and unwelcome feature of labor markets worldwide. In order to combat this so-called gender pay gap, many countries have passed laws forbidding discriminations and addressing gender inequalities. In a working paper, I looked at the effects of a French law passed in November 2010 and still standing nowadays that mandates firms to negotiate agreements on gender equality with uh, unions, or they could face a fine. The key question is whether mandating firms to negotiate gender equality agreements really impacts the gender wage gap, which stands on average at about 13% in France. Using available data on companies that have signed such agreements, I found no significant results on the mean wage gap. The reduction in the gender wage gap is very small, about 0.01%, that it falls in fact within the margin of error and is therefore not statistically significant. In other words, the November 2010 law was not effective in reducing the pay gap between men and women. Those results are consistent with the findings of other studies according to which firms did sign the agreement but they often lacked proper indicators of gender inequalities and avoided taking any active measures. How is this possible? First, by requiring only to sign an agreement without binding companies to close any actual wage gap, the law is not very strict and allows firms a lot of leeway. This is reinforced by the fact that labor inspectors are not uh, only required to verify that an agreement exists, but not its content. Unions, for their part, are more interested in maintaining job levels than in reducing gender inequalities. Besides, the threat of a fine might not be strong enough to push firms to sign agreements and implement them correctly. A better approach would be to provide companies with both guidance on how to measure and correct gender pay gaps and more effective sanctions if they fail to report and take action.